Hi everyone, so welcome to another video. This one is all about my office um, and whether I get lab space or lecture theatre space. Basically, as a UK university academic, so as a lecturer here in the UK, what do I get within the university in terms of my own personal workspace and research space? This question has come up in the comments a few times, so thank you very much for commenting and asking. It's essentially, as a UK university academic, do I get my own office, lecture theatre, laboratory? How much space do I get within my university campus? Let's start off then with the office question. Do I get my own office? Yes, I am very lucky I do get my own office. This was a huge change from working in industry. So when I was in my industry employer, I was in a multi-person office or I was in a open working area. Coming to academia then, when I joined the university, it was quite exciting to get my own office for the very first time. Um, so the way it works in my physics department is that as lecturers, we get our own offices. And then when you work your up the ranks, so if I were to become a professor, it's likely that I would get a slightly larger office. Not that I'm complaining, it's just so exciting to have my own space to be able to work in. As academics, having your own office is actually really crucial because I use my office not only for my work and my research, I have regular meetings in my office. So I have meetings with my PhD students, my MSc students, my bachelor's students, my undergraduate personal tutees. If I had to keep booking meeting rooms every time to have those meetings and those interactions, I'd be booking an awful lot of meeting rooms. So actually my office is really important because it's a place for me to crack on with research, but it's also a place where I can host all these different student meetings. I also host visitors to the department in my office. So, you know, it needs to be quite a versatile space. Um, so I'll include some clips of my office or some pictures. I've basically got two ends of the room. So one end is like my personal working end. So I've got my big desk, my computer monitor. I put my laptop in when I come in from home. I've got a comfy chair, a little coffee table so I can read papers and do marking in a comfy sitting position. And then I've got like a little divider cabinet. Then the other side, I guess I've got my kind of student meeting area. So I've got a few chairs, a couple of desks for people to put their books on, a little kind of table. I've got the whiteboard, I've got my books, and we use this end of the room really then to have our kind of group conversations. And during the last year and a half, the pandemic's obviously really impacted this. I've not been able to meet with students in my office. The rules are just starting to change. So now my office, I can meet with one other student so I can have a one-to-one -one meeting. And hopefully as we go forward, um, I'll be able to have more students again into kind of group meeting settings in my office. Um, I don't have the best view <laughs> from my office. Um, other academics look out over the fields and the lake and it's all very pretty. I look inwards, so I look into the quad area, um, but it's fine, you know, I, I get daylight, <laughs> I can see out the window. As a lecturer, as I said, we get our own offices. Within my department, the teaching fellows are often in shared offices. So quite often there's two or three teaching fellows to a larger shared office. Um, research fellows, again, typically it's two people sharing an office. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really nice. Alongside my office then, um, I am a researching physicist. So I also get my own laboratory. Um, and again, you know, there's different size laboratories in the department. It depends on your research interests and what pieces of equipment that you actually need access to. Um, I've got a really nice sized office just around the corner is my laboratory. My laboratory only gets used by PhD students and my students working on research projects for my research area. So it's not used by undergraduates for their general teaching or learning. It really is a research lab for the students who are working on more extended projects or pursuing their PhDs. What's 
quite nice is that as an academic, I can repurpose that lab. So the person before me had an awful lot of optics equipment in it. Um, I don't do so much with optical measurements. So I was able to remove those pieces of equipment and put in the bits of technology and equipment that I would choose to specialise in for my research interests. Um, so yeah, it is lovely having my own laboratory. Um, I also get access to the other laboratories within my research group. So there's some bigger laboratories and some ones with specialist facilities in them. So my students are able to access those places as well. Um, and then of course we have the undergraduate teaching laboratories. But as an individual academic, I essentially have my office and my own research lab. Now, do I get my own lecture theatre? No, I don't. It would be wonderful to have a lecture theatre, you know, I see these rooms get named after people sometimes. I could imagine having the Dr. CST lecture theatre. No, it, it doesn't happen. So at my university, there is a lecture theatre block and a teaching block. And these are two very large buildings um, housing several lecture theatres in them. We use like a letter scheme. So there's lecture theatres, I think, A to, I want to say J, um, but there's a lot of lecture theatres in there. And the way it works is each year I coordinate with timetabling. I tell them how many students I'm anticipating on the classes that I teach on and they allocate me a teaching lecture theatre room. So some years I'm in the main lecture theatre, some years I'm in the teaching block. Depending on how many students, I might have a huge lecture theatre or a small lecture theatre. Um, at my uni, all the equipment in the lecture theatres are standard. So although the room may be physically different, my computer, my lectern, my laptop, the whiteboard, the projectors, the audio equipment, the filming equipment, they are going to be the same in every single lecture theatre. So I can just walk in and I'm familiar with how to use the kit and the technology. Um, I think I did a green screen tour <laughs> or I went around the campus and showed some of these facilities off. So I will, I will link that in the comments below. So if you want to have a little cheeky look around the campus and the places that I work and teach, I'll include that as a, green, as a green screen link thing in the comments. But yeah, essentially as a UK physics lecturer working at a UK university, I get my own office, my own lab, and I share lecture theatres. Let me know, what do you get? Are you a teaching fellow, a research fellow, an academic, a professor? Do you have your own office? Do you share your office? Do you have a lab? Maybe you don't need a lab. I'd love to know, let me know what facilities you have for your own personal use at your university. It will be interesting to see if things now change because obviously this horrible pandemic shifted how we've worked slightly. More people are now working remotely or from home. Maybe your university is planning a change on how much space you're going to be allocated within that university. Leave me a comment, let me know. I'm off to, well, croak my way through the rest of my cup of tea. And then I've got a busy week coming up. We've got open day tours happening in person. I've got an industry visitor coming to the university that we need to host, which will be fantastic. Lecturing, um, lab classes are happening. It's just normal, busy semester. Um, so yeah, I hope things are going well for you. I hope you've managed to avoid getting any kind of freshers flu. Um, stay safe, keep looking after yourselves. Leave me a comment. Let me know how much space you have where you're working and I will see you next Monday. Bye.